Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Agenda of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia. Armenian Ministry of Defense adversary resumed attack in southern direction of Artsakh. We stand with the people of Armenia, Los Angeles Mayor. 18 civilians killed so far in Artsakh as a result of Azerbaijan shelling. Arab League chief condemns Turkey over its role in increased tension in Caucasus. Rare tin cave tomb discovered in Western Armenia. Today is World Teachers Day. On October 4, the regular sitting of the Parliament of Western Armenia took place. The President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, the Speaker of the Parliament, Leonardo Basmajan, the Prime Minister, Seda Melikan, members of the government and deputies took part in the sitting. The main topic discussion during the sitting was the situation in Artsakh. The member of the Parliament from Artsakh Republic presented the current situation. The participants reaffirmed their readiness to support Artsakh. The Latin American deputies also took an active part in the sitting. Online sessions will take place every day. The adversary has resumed offensive operations in the southern direction of the Artsakh Front. Shushan Stepanian, spokesperson for the Ministry of Defense of Armenia, wrote about this on her Facebook page. There are fires, battles, the Artsakh Defense Army units are striking a deserving counter blow to the enemy forces, she added. Mayor of Los Angeles Eric Garcetta has expressed support to the Armenian people amid to ongoing hostilities with Azerbaijan. LA is proud to be home to the largest Armenian diaspora. We stand with the people of Armenia, Mayor Garcetta said in a Twitter post. He urged leaders in Washington to conduct the sustained diplomacy necessary to bring peace to the Artsakh region. It should be reminded that on September 27, the Azerbaijani armed forces launched a large-scale attack in Artsakh targeting the civilian population. To date, 18 civilians have been killed in Artsakh as a result of the Azerbaijani shelling. This information is provided by the Artsakh Human Rights Defenders Office, which has published the report. According to the report, about 80 people in Artsakh were wounded. 60 of them were seriously injured. People died and were wounded as a result of the use of prohibited weapons and methods used by the Azerbaijani army against the civilian population. The Artsakh Ombudsman Office also released the latest data on Artsakh civilians who fell victims to the Azerbaijani military aggression. Secretary General of Arab League Ahmed Abu Ghaid has warned Turkey over its role in increased regional tension in the Caucasus and Mediterranean regions, saying that it will not end well for the country, Arab News reports. The Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan is interfering in Egypt, Syria, Iraq and Libya military, he added. Erdogan also interfered in the Caucasus between Azerbaijan and Armenia, collided with Greece and Cyprus, and attacked the eastern Mediterranean in the gas areas. It annoys me that the Syrians use mercenaries to to fight with Azerbaijan against Armenia. It is very sad that Syrian mercenaries are being used by Erdogan in cases that are unrelated to Turkey, Abu Ghaid said as quoted by Arab News. A three-room rock tomb is found in the village of Alkush in the Hakkari province of Western Armenia, which is estimated to be from the Urartian period. Lecturer of the Hakkari University, Omer Tanurek, who studied the tomb, said, We can call this royal mausoleum because it consists of many rooms. As a result of the site research, we can say that this is the oldest cave tomb in the region. Announcing that the former name of the region is known as Hergyol Tanurek added, We named this place Hergyol Rock Tomb. If it is protected, we can preserve our cultural heritage for many years to come. October 5 marks the International Teachers' Day in more than 100 countries around the world as a professional day for teachers in the field of education. In 1994, October 5 was declared Teachers' Day by UNESCO. It was on this day in 1966 that the Joint Conference on Teacher Status was adopted at the Joint Conference of UNESCO and the International Labour Organization in Paris, which was the first international document regulating the work of teachers. Now let us represent your attention a song by Sahak Sahakyan. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.